Today's custom budget PC is built into this Gondius Aura PC case. I've featured this case a lot on my channel, but for those of you who are unaware, I'm just going to point out a couple of its key features. One being the front mesh grille, allowing for good air intake. The size is kind of appealing for a specific kind of hardware. And as you can see, it came pre-installed with four ARGB case fans. Three 120 millimeter case fans up front and one in the exhaust. On the top of the case, we have USB 2.0, USB 3.0, microphone and headphone jacks, and the LED button that controls the color scheme of the fans. I still have the plastic film on the tempered glass side panel, so let's take it off to get a better look inside. Underneath the Thermoret Assassin Spirit V2 CPU cooler lies a Ryzen 5 5600 CPU with 6 cores and 12 threads. Beside that is 16 gigabytes of Timetech Pinnacle Conduit DDR4 3600 MHz RAM. And this is all packed onto an ASRock B550M-HTV motherboard. A fairly basic motherboard with the feature of one short PCIe lane, one NVMe slot beyond the GPU that is currently housing a Timetech MS09 NVMe solid state drive with 512 gigabytes in capacity running at speeds of PCIe times four. There's no fancy heat sinks over here, but I think the CPU cooler and the case fans will do enough of a cooling job. And this would be the Power Color Fighter Radeon RX 6600 GPU with eight gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. Fairly basic in design, but actually provides some really good cooling. Over here, we have an extra Western Digital Blue, 320 gigabyte hard drive installed for extra storage space. And powering it all is this EVGA 600 BQ 600 watt power supply. Over to the rear IO of the motherboard, we have a mouse and keyboard PS2 port, two times USB 2.0, HDMI, DVI, and VGA that we can't use with the 5600 because there's no integrated graphics, four times USB 3.2 Gen 1, gigabit RJ45 Ethernet port, audio ports, and on the 6600, we have 1x HDMI 2.1 and 3x DisplayPort 1.4a. So now let's check out the video rendering and video encoding performance. So DaVinci Resolve is loaded up with my usual 11 minutes of raw 1080p footage. With the following preset, let's see how long this one takes. 2 minutes and 53 seconds. Let's check out the last time I tested out a 5600 CPU. And the results were 2 minutes and 27 seconds. And now that was paired with an RTX 3060. And I did find that the 3060, maybe because it has more VRAM, tended to perform a little bit better than other 8 gigabyte GPUs. In any case, we are 26 seconds slower than that last time. And now over to the handbrake test where we are at a preset of Creator 1080p60 and just testing the CPU this time. 3 minutes and 10 seconds. So this time in comparison to the 5600 combined with the 3060, we're only 3 seconds slower. With just the CPU alone, we're pretty close to the same performance. Now we're ready to test out the 6600. Now what's interesting is that's 2 seconds faster than the last time we tested with a 3070. And 3 seconds faster than the last time we tested a 6600 with a 3600X. Now I know all these times are very similar and the difference of 3 seconds is not a lot. But still it's kind of interesting to study these results. Either way that's still some pretty good performance. Before we move on to the gameplay performance, I just want to make note that I reached 6,000 subscribers today. So I want to give a shout out to anyone who watches my videos, thank you very much. The two of us here at Haste Computer Repair really appreciate it. As usual, if you're using a Ryzen 5 5600 or an RX 6600 in 2025, definitely let us know, especially if they are a combo in your own PC build. I found the performance to be great value, so hopefully this helps you decide if it's a good value for you too. I'll see you in the next video.
stars align with you I can't help but think of you When the stars align with you I can't help When the stars align with you I can't help but think of you When the stars align with you I can't help but think of you I can't help but think of you. When the stars align with you, I can't help.